Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my final Halloween look I am bringing this month of October. I know I didn't quite manage all 31 looks that I wanted to do, but don't worry, I might be bringing a couple in November since I really want to do Catwoman, Princess Peach and a Bondage Barbie, so um... Yeah, they may still be on their way in November, but today I want to do something that I'm actually afraid of. Spiders. Spiders scare the absolute living shit out of me, so I thought I'd do a dragtastic one and do none other than the high bitch herself and Manny in a Black Widow. I just thought it fit so well with my like sex kit and drag aesthetic, so... Yeah, this is the transformation that I came up with. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other looks you want to see from me or what you thought of my little Halloween series on my channel. I was so happy with how many like videos I actually managed to do since I was filming when I got in from work at like 4 o'clock, editing it and putting it up that night. So I was happy with how many I actually managed to do and proud of like how many different looks I came up with. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. Like I said, there's still going to be a couple of looks like at the start of November that are like Halloween-ish themed and then I'm going to go full pumpkin spice bitch and then it's festive look. So leave any requests for them down below too. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on with my final transformation this month, shall we? I really hope you guys have enjoyed my series and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get on with it. Thanks for watching. So we're going to be starting off this final Halloween transformation, as always, with a freshly cleansed and shaved face. And then for a little bit of hydration, I spritzed my skin with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. To prep my body, I went in with the Kat Von D Foundation, my Sally Hansen Airbrush Spray, and the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And just literally mixed all those together and buffed out using my Real Techniques Body Blender, and we're left with gorgeous airbrush skin. I lightly set that down with some powder, which kind of... Ended up everywhere. You'll see in the bloopers section, girl. And then for my face, I primed with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter to add that gorgeous lit from within glow. From here, I colour corrected my beard area so the 5 o'clock shadow didn't show through because I need to look like a gorgeous, fishy, feminine spider queen, not spider king. For my foundation, I went in with some super full coverage Krylon TV Paint Sick in the shade 3W for my base, 406 for my highlight, and 7W for my contour. And I also did contour on, like, probably the biggest breasts I've ever contoured on on my channel thus far. I do have a full coverage highlight and contour routine, which I will leave down below in case I'm going a little bit quick through this, but... I kind of wanted my base done pretty quick, and then I can focus on the Black Widow eyes. So for my dress, I just kept building up the highlight and contours. I am going to be doing like a kind of video on how I highlight and contour and basically fake the illusion of large breasts, so that'll be coming soon. Once I'm happy with how all my creams are laid down, I heavily set with powder and quickly filled in my brows off camera, and then it's time to go in with the eyes. So I want this look to look kind of like super grungy and smoky, so I mixed together the two greys in the palette and just heavily buffed that everywhere. I want this look to be like very, very kind of over the top and Halloween-y dramatic, so yeah. Packed a lot of colour everywhere. I then took the darker grey in the palette and packed it on the outer corner and the inner corner and lightly buffed it out. And then did the same with black since I want a kind of like a halo eye effect of that like black widow kind of red in the centre, black like around it kind of look. So pretty much pack black on the inner and outer like innermost portion, buff it out with a little bit of grey and then blend it out with a lighter grey. And then I carved out that central portion with my Chemnicorn Essential Skin Enhancer Concealer and then patted this gorgeous red shimmering tart chrome paint like on that centre region. I do top it with glitter afterwards just to make it a little bit more like sparkly but I was so happy with how it looked. I then buffed black kind of through my crease as well which looked kind of patchy and messy but um I wanted the look to be smoky. Let's go with that. So then I packed a little bit of like Too Faced glitter glue on my lid and then packed this gorgeous red glitter all over it and honestly the camera doesn't do it justice on how like shimmery and gorgeous this looked in person. I mean yes it was smoky and a little bit messy but it was still pretty. I then did some of the worst winged eyeliner I've ever done and set it down with some black eyeshadow. And then for my inner corner, I took another one of those tart chrome paints and just put a little bit of that on my inner corner as well as my brow bone. And then I heavily contoured my face using my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Kit. And also like heavily reinforced my chest contour, which made it look absolutely huge. Wasn't really my intention, but I kind of liked how it looked. I then packed a lot of blush. Wow, I've been saying packed a lot recently, but I packed a lot of blush everywhere and then highlighted using my Colourpop Flexitarian Highlighter. Literally my all-time favourite highlighter, but it's starting to dry out and run low, so pretty sad. So for my lips, I first did a black kind of outline and filled it in with red, which I kind of liked the look of, but when I popped in my red contacts, I felt like it was contrasting too much with my eyes, so I later swapped to a basic bitch nude, but yeah, I initially went in with this black-red combo, which kind of looks pretty, but with the red contacts, 
it just didn't look the cutest. And then, yeah, that is the finished look. All you gotta do is pop on lashes, a wig, a rhinestone under your eye for that extra little sparkly glamour. And that is my final Black Widow transformation done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for bloopers. There's a lot of them, girl. I wanted to finish with a spider queen, and none other than the high bitch of... Okay. So, you sound like an asshole. Black Widow high bitch manny in slut that... Oh, fuck off. Halloween look I am bringing this month of October. I will leave my pay... Oh, fuck off. Mm. Mm. <sighs> it looks like a fucking mess. To my YouTube channel, and welcome to my fallow... Halloween. Mm. Now I'm swallowed Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules